So what I like about the Chronicle Bell Deluxe Edition packet, the shipping um, didn't take too long. It took about 10 days, but we didn't get a express uh, shipping, so that means to like to get it real fast. So we wanted to, to take its time to get to us. When you get it, it says it um, has two in one color, eyeshadows, and then it's a highlighting palette. So when you open it up, right here, this is what it looks like. And again, um, when we did get it, the uh, bronzer, it's a, a dark highlighting right here, it messed up. So unfortunately, this is the only bad thing I could think about it right here is that it kind of crumbled up. But as far as that, everything is pretty good. So far, I have used one, two, three, four, five, six eyeshadows and uh, two of the highlighters. I have used this one down here. It's like a... Um, a darker gold shimmer right here and then this one's a lighter one so I use those two as often and I love using the pink and orange highlighter right here as you can see it in the videos that I did so far um I love all the eyeshadows um, just by looking at them I can tell like they're a good product they're easily um blendable because I'm able to um apply the eyeshadows without a brush that's a good thing that's how you know if the quality of the eyeshadows is real good, if you can apply it without a brush, that's that's an A plus. Or if you use it with a brush and it blends real well with other eyeshadows, that's another way of how you can tell it's really good. I'm just gonna do a couple swatches right here of the quality on my arm so you can look at them, like even um, a close up. This is the orange pigment right here, and this is how it looks right here on me on my skin color. It's really all uh, bright, and I really, whoop, and I really like it. So yeah, I like it. It looks super good on my skin color. Then now I'm taking the pink eyeshadow and applying that on my arm. So this is the orange, and this is the pink. Sorry, I can't see this well because it's my light. So yeah, this is orange and this is the pink. And then, as um, far as the highlighting shades, I'm going to show y'all. This is the swatch for the pink highlighter right here. So, I like that. That's really good. And one thing I love about using um, Call of Bell's Deluxe um, or Palettes, because we got this one and then we have the other one that um, can be located at BH Cosmetics or at Ulta or other stores, is that it looks really good on all skin types. So, that's another plus when you're looking for eyeshadows. Is that if the pigmentation looks good on all skin types, then it's very marketable. So that's like a good, a good thing, meaning that a lot of people will um, buy it. And the price was um, very affordable. I think this one costs twenty dollars compared to um, even more name brand stuff like um, Tar and Anastasia when they can range from forty two dollars and higher. So this for twenty one shades is actually very cheap. So. Thanks, Carly Bell, for making this out because it's very affordable. So I'm going to post that for y'all, and um, I hope y'all have a wonderful day. Thanks. So the first thing I do for is foundation routine. Since it's so hot today, it's 90 degrees outside, I apply um, no primer. Just to let y'all know, I use no primer. And I'm going to use two ingredients, or well, two products, just to get started as far as foundation-wise. This is what I use to put on before I apply my foundation. It's two um, products and it's the Neutrogena um, sunscreen lotion that I put in my other um, video and I get the one that says um, SPF at least 100 plus because it's so hot and then I just use um, any ordinary lotion along with that and I got this one it's called Dermacell. I get it at the Dollar Tree for a dollar so it's very inexpensive and then all the links today that I'm going to use on um, all the products will be posted down below, so feel free to click on them. And yeah, just want to let y'all know that. So to apply that on, I use a wet, um, damp little um, bending, blending sponge that you can get from Walmart. I usually get um, the pack that says like 32 account because it's um, only for like $2, so it's very inexpensive. So I got that, and I, it's already wet, so I'm just going to apply my Neutrogena sunscreen lotion. And it, it doesn't matter how much you put on the sponge because you're going to put it all over your face, so it's going to um, go away. But yeah, I don't like using, um, I don't use any primer uh, in the summertime, so yeah. 
I have it, but I just don't use it. I use it mostly my primer during um the fall and winter season. For foundation today, I'm using two. I'm using my favorite L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte in the shade um in this shade Soft Sable, and it's really good, especially for um days that are really hot. It helps me so like when I sweat, my makeup would hardly ever come off. And then I'm using my NARS right here, the um. The All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation in the shade Macau. So I'm going to shake it up really good. And with this, I kid you not, guys, I'm only going to use uh, three pumps, light pumps right here, um, to apply foundation. These two foundations right here are really good for the summer. They already have um, like SPF of 30, and then we have our um, sunscreen already. So we're good for our sunscreen, for our protective. So yeah, I just shake them up really well, and now I'm going to apply them. Also, before applying that um, foundation that I just put on my sponge, I'm just going to color correct my face just a little bit around the dark spots, because they're almost gone, but I just want to kind of cover them up just a little bit. And I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, my favorite kit, to color correct and to do my highlight and contour today. And when you're doing this, um, just tap it right here like on your face and then kind of um, buff it in like that. That way it goes into your skin smoothly and makes your foundation look really good. And same thing like you just did with the buffing. You're going to take that sponge and just dot, dot, dot like this and kind of blend it out on your entire face. But yeah, as I told many people before, I just like using a sponge um on my face to apply my foundation especially during the summer because I feel like when I use a brush it's really um the makeup feels real cakey cakey on um, my skin and to the point where I have to like literally take it off with a wipe because um it just feels like you know real thick and I don't like my makeup like that especially for the summer I want it to feel light and this way it's going to help y'all put it on and make it feel like after you do it this way, I guarantee you're going to be like, wow, it doesn't even feel like you have makeup on. So, yeah. For my eyeshadow today, I'm using, again, Carly Bell's The Luxe Edition Eyeshadow Palette. It's the new one where it has 21 um, color eyeshadows and highlighter palette. I love using this um, pink and orange eyeshadow, as you see in my other video. So, I'm going to use that again. And um, I like using my fingers to apply it because... Uh, I feel like I get more of the product onto my eyes, so I'm doing that again, along with the pink eyeshadow. Okay, now that we did that for our eyeshadow, I'm going to take that same blending sponge and just go underneath my eyes, kind of get rid of the fallout, just real quick. Okay, next what we're going to do is um, highlight and contour. I'm using that Anastasia Beverly Hills palette in the shade cream and banana and that's just and I'm just gonna take a little bit of this and again use your finger right here just get a little bit of the product and blend it just like you see me doing and what this is doing is warming up the concealer to make it you see how it is it's blending real quick Next, you're going to set the concealer with any type of um, with your favorite setting powder. I like to use today Sasha Buttercup setting powder because it's really good. And set it just all the places you set your um, concealer at so far. We're going to um, contour real quick using, again, our Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm going to use the shade Chocolate right here in the middle. For eyebrows today, I'm going to set it with the Makeup Revolution Brow Pomade in the shade Chocolate right here. And with this one, all you're going to need is one of the little brushes like this to kind of buff it out. Kind of... Touch up your brow already and smooth it out. And with this, I only use a little bit. 
still loaded a little bit here. As you can see right here, I mostly started right here and and move it from the um from the towards the front to the back because up here if you put it too much it'll be too dark on your eyebrow and kind of look harsh. So you just want a little bit. I'm gonna use that same shade I used to contour underneath my eyes in the shade uh, cream to just put up here as a highlight. That's what I'm gonna do. As you can see, I put it right here. And what I'm gonna do is take my finger and kind of buff it out. So it can blend very easily up here. To set my contour that I did right here, I'm going to use a um, a blending sponge again. And the um the product I'm using is NYX Matte Bronzer in the shade D. I just want to use a little pressing powder up here. So as you can see, I've got that natural, nice little highlighting glow right here. That's what I want. So it's all right here on the bridge of my nose and then back over here. And then I put a little bit up here. Now I'm just applying just a little bit of mascara. Off of the lip, I'm doing an ombre lip. I'm using my favorite Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in the shade Vintage Liquid Lipstick. And then I'm going to take my um, Wet n Wild lipstick to do the ombre lips. So right here. Okay. And then for the ombre part, I'm going to take that liquid lipstick. And this is Wet n Wild. And it's the shade Oh My Dolly. And I'm going to take a little bit and kind of do it like this. Dot, 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 dot. dot. 